What's up, little bros? You got big bro here. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like the gems and truths I'm dropping to you. Now, I'm gonna start this video with this. An idiot will sound like a genius to people who do not do their own research. I'm gonna say that again. An idiot will sound like a genius to a person who does not do their own research. A person who does their own research and they've been investing a long time, when people on YouTube, uh, when, when, when they say catchphrases like, there's always a bull market somewhere, and a person who does not do their own research or their idiot followers would say, oh my God, there's always a bull market somewhere. An investor who's been doing this a long time will say, uh, Jim Cramer from Mad Money has been saying that for years. That's bull crap because even Jim Cramer sucks at investing. Now, the reason why I say, what's up, little bros, you got big bro here, is because when I first started making videos about almost a year and a half ago, I would say I'm like a father figure to a lot of you and I'm like a big brother to a lot of you because... A wise man learns from his mistakes. I've learned from my mistakes. A, a wiser man learns from other people's mistakes. A lot of you who are watching this, my hardworking people and my lazy, stupid people, you might not have understood that when we try to talk to you, it's not because we're hating. It's because we're trying to save you because we tried it. I did the whole day trading thing back in 1999 when it was another huge bull market. In 1999 and 2000, you had the dot-com bull monster, all right? I was making money for a while. I was buying stupid stuff. And then you had the attacks on, on the Twin Towers and you had the dot-com crash. That really didn't happen until like 2001 and 2002 when stuff started to bottom out. You had monstrous companies that were in the S&P 500 by weight and the top 10. Now, you can Google these yourself. Lucent Technologies, Enron, WorldCom, Tyco, Global Crossings. These were like your Amazon, your Apples, your Microsoft of today. And they all went belly up because people were cooking the books. This is why I say I do not invest in any tech stock that does not pay a dividend because it's easy to do accounting fraud and make it seem like you're making more revenue when you're really not. Now, when it comes to investing, I will tell you something and I'm going to tell you this and I've said this so many times. Investing is easy. Absolutely. Investing is easy. If you do the DCA into good growth companies that have paid that are dividend aristocrats and kings and that and index funds and great mutual funds, yo, you're going to be good. But if you play this whole day trading option game with puts and stuff like that, you're going to be sorry and you're gonna, only going to have yourself to blame. Black folks don't like accepting responsibility. I'm going to come out and tell you this. Black folks do not like accepting responsibility. There's another thing. Black folks love following people to the promised land, as they would say, when they use key phrases like promised land and family. I have a question for you. Have you ever been able to call any one of these people who call you family or uncle something? Have you ever been able to call them when you lose money or uh, your lights get turned off or you're living in poverty or something like that? Have you ever been able to call your family or your uncle, the people on YouTube that, that like to put that on hoodies and stuff? Have you ever been able to call them? No. Now, the people that follow them, this message is for you. They're living better than you. They are. And I got another message for you. If you're following them, I'm living better than you because I know the crap they're telling you does not work. Here's the thing. You got to watch certain things and frauds and scams. It's been happening since the beginning of time. When people say stuff like this, they key in on uneducated people and people who do not fact check with certain words like this. I can make you a millionaire or I could show you how to do it. All you have to do is pay for this. All you have to do is pay for this. And they do certain things where if you if you don't have uh, $10, I got the $5 one. If you got a little bit more money, I can show you a better way how to do it for $20. Well, wait. So what about the people 
who paid five dollars? You're gonna show them an okay way, and the people who paid ten dollars, you're gonna show them a medium way, and people who show you, uh, uh, uh who send you twenty dollars, you're gonna show them the best way, the master way. I don't get it. Now, I've been trying to tell you this, and I've been trying to spit gems and truths to you. There's no shortcut. Even Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. A lot of you black folks might not know who Dave Ramsey is. Watch Dave Ramsey. Watch Dave Ramsey's channel. He's been broke he's been breaking this down for years on baby steps, on how to get wealthy, on how to get debt free, on how your income is your number one wealth building tool. That's why I say, show me the money. If none of these people can show me 10, five, six, show me three years of consecutive income before YouTube, before YouTube. How, how are you going to tell people how to invest? How do you give people stock advice, stock tips, wealth building tips that you're selling if you've never had any money in the beginning, uh, any money in the beginning to build it yourself? That's why I say, show me the money. I've always said that. That's going to be my catchphrase from now on. Show me the money. I'm not going to. I'm not going to mention their names anymore. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to throw their names out anymore. I'm done with that. But you'll start to see where they'll start to steal information and they'll start to use and borrow a lot of our stuff from YouTube. I'm not even going to mention any names, but, um, you know, I've mentioned her before and now all of a sudden on her channel, she's talking about Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola is so good. It's a monopoly because uh, in Disney, they didn't sell Pepsi and you could buy Coke. See, here's how I know she's not a real investor. Now, I own Coke and Pepsi. Why would you just own one and not the other when you can corner the market? Pepsi actually owns Frito-Lay. I love Doritos. They're delicious. I love the sour cream and onion and the salt and vinegar. So if I love their product, chances are somebody else loves their product. I will buy a bag of Doritos and wash it down with a Diet Coke or a Coke. Those are both stocks I own. So I can tell people are biting off my content because I made that same content about how Coca-Cola will crush one of the stocks that she recommended. Now, all of a sudden, Coca-Cola is her favorite dividend stock. So we got to be doing something right on this channel. I got to be doing something right. My blockers are doing something right by following me. And I thank you so much for rocking with me. Now, you can watch their channels and you'll start to see a lot of the stuff that they're putting in their channels. They're either talking about me, they're addressing something I said, or they're stealing something I said in the past, okay? There is no quick and easy way. There isn't. I'm sorry. There's the hardworking way that will pay off where you'll be able to be easier. The quicker you learn how much harder it is to put in that work, the earlier you'll be able to enjoy those fruits of your label, excuse me, your fruits of your labor of retiring early and being able to kick back and enjoy you planting seeds that have grown into fruit trees that you can now eat off of. No regrets. Get it.